talk, think about the first uh, B, which is for body, because we want to move our body more. Okay, exercise is not just something that has to happen in the gym. In fact, studies show that people who go to the gym two or three times a week for, let's say, 45 minutes at a time and are otherwise inactive. They spend the rest of their time, you know, sitting um, on the sofa, sitting at their chair, driving in their car, are not as fit and do not burn as many calories, use up, burn up the energy, as people who are just active all day long, who run to the mailbox, get the mail, come back in, go out and go uh, pick up the newspaper, who, who drink lots of water and as a result have to go make lots of trips to the restroom, <laughs> use the stairs instead of the elevators. You know, my book, Fitness 9 to 5, has lots of uh, tips like this because I know what it's like because people always say, I don't have time to exercise. But the, what you may not have time for is to go to the gym, but you do have time to be active. In fact, every morning when I brush my teeth, I do 20 squats. And Renee here, who is my sweetheart, will vouch for me. I do that every morning and every night because you want to invest. You just, yeah, do it because you want to invest in your physical future. You know, fitness and health is not something that you can buy with a pill. It's, it takes time. And we're such an instant gratification culture. But your current leg strength, your ability to do this today, how many times you can do it, this is the strongest indicator of whether or not you're going to live in assisted care when you're an older adult in your later years. And 80% of our diseases are caused, I'm sorry, yeah, are caused by our lifestyle choices. 80%, 80% of cancers, 80% of heart disease. So we can't control genetics, we can't control aging, we can't control environmental factors, you know, such as air pollution. You know, we can buy an air filter for the home, we don't breathe so much of it, but there are toxins and other things that are beyond our ability to control. But what you can control are the little choices you make each day. So the, the B well, the W, is for watch what you eat. And what I mean by that is you don't have to be crazy about what you eat, but be mindful. Simply paying attention to what you put in your mouth actually generally reduces the amount that you eat, and it brings more pleasure and enjoyment. And we've done lots of studies that people who just engage in mindful eating tend to lose weight. But you want to choose as much as you can fresh vegetables and fruits, minimally processed whole grains, as much as you can. I mean, there's lots of great nutritional research. You know, a glass of wine or two after.